changes. Guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and I'm coming at you guys today with my first how to guide in Clash Royale. Today, we're going to be talking about how to counter those pesky elite barbarians. They've been running rampant for the past few months, and today I'm going to show you how I have been using two cards to basically take care of the elite barbarians. It's going to be the skeleton army and the tombstone. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into a few replays. Uh, we'll start off real quick right here. Uh, as you can see, this guy, he plays the Elite Barbarians right at the start. And the Skeleton Army, you can play it down and it will just go ahead. And the Elite Barbarians will be preoccupied with the Skeleton Army. And they will be able to effectively counter push and give you the Elixir advantage as the fact that they are only three elixir to play the skeleton army and the elite barbarians are six so it will put you at the advantage um, one of the key things is for me i play uh, a beat down deck so if you're going to play a high elixir card um, hound golem expo um, depending on what type of deck you have always make sure that you have the skeleton army or the tombstone ready as you can see I played the Hound, he came on the opposite lane to try to push with his Elite Barbarians and I had the Skeleton Army ready, so I was effectively able to counter push, or I guess I had the initial push going, but I was effectively able to take out his Elite Barbarians and then have my Hound and then just drop in a Mega Minion behind it and was able to take out his first tower and then at this point I'm able to push in and take out the remaining uh, second tower here at the very end to secure the victory and he basically gives up because he knows at this point he cannot battle me when I'm countering his elite barbarians every time he plays them. Um, we'll go ahead now jump into the next replay. Um, one of the big things too is for me I have a beatdown deck so I don't necessarily like to play my hound right at the start um, unless if I kind of know um, a feeling or get an idea of what he has. He played the Ice Wizard, so I knew that he wasn't going to come with the Elite Barbarians right off the start. Uh, but when he does come with them, I am ready with the Tombstone. And the minions are there to just help out and back up. Um, he threw down the goblins in the back, so we effectively trade it on the Elixir cost for the tombstone and minions to his elite barbarians but then i came out on top once he played the goblins um, but as you can see if you're going to play the tombstone or the skeleton army try to play them more towards the center of the map also another tip to know is to kind of know your deck um, right here i knew that he was going to come with a big push he came with the elite barbarians and he came with his hog rider but i knew on the other side i had my hound and my balloon um, that would easily be able to counter push this other side and take that tower from him and then i could effectively just play my skeleton army and tombstone since they are low elixir costing cards to effectively counter his elite barbarians every single time since i had my tower on the right side and i had my king tower that were now activated um, his elite barbarians were going to be less effective knowing that the skeleton army and the tombstone would be preoccupying the elite barbarians the whole time and i would have additional damage between two towers effectively taking them on and then just turning around with the skeleton army and making a good push to secure the victory on that one uh, now another thing to notice is if somebody is going to play the ice golem then most likely they are going to follow that up with the elite barbarians so be ready with that um, they could also come with a hog rider push but if you see the ice golem it is a good hint to know that they are going to be playing some variation of an elite barbarian deck um, now the elite barbarians will be getting effectively nerfed here soon uh, but they still will be a solid card um, now that everybody has had them for a while and is able to effectively level them up they are not going to just drop out one of the big keys of their deck um, but as you can see a few of the things is to kind of scout out play safe in the beginning to see what the opponent has so that way if you're going to make kind of a push you will not get punished right off the start with the late barbarians on a counter push on the opposite lane 
Um, if you see like this one here, though, if somebody plays an ice golem down in front, kind of anticipate that they are going to be coming with the elite barbarians or the hog behind. And what you can do is actually play the skeleton army behind the ice golem, let it push through a little bit. Since the barbarians are fast, they will push that golem through and play it behind it. So that way the elite barbarians will be aggroed to that skeleton army behind the ice golem. And when the ice golem steps forward, it won't take out your skeleton army and you will be able to effectively counter that elite barbarian push. Another thing is once, if they get one tower down, know that you can kind of preemptively guess that they are going to play the Elite Barbarians and place down your Tombstone early. Um, so that way, if they do play it, the Elite Barbarians will get stuck on that Tombstone while your troops are taking out the Elite Barbarians. Uh, but that's going to wrap up things for my first how-to guide on Clash Royale countering the Elite Barbarians. If you guys have made it this far in the video and you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll have more content coming in the future for you guys. Uh, but until next time, guys, this is Trunk signing out.